Hello, welcome back to Derwent Harp School. Today, I'm gonna to take you through some of the options for your step one ISOM exam. Step one, for complete beginners. So after you've consolidated being able to play tunes with just two fingers and you're using two and one confidently, you can start preparing for your step one exam with your teacher. So you choose three exercises, three pieces, and you have a short discussion with one of our ISOM examiners. You can do it live online, or you can record it. If you're doing recorded, just introduce your pieces, say what you like about them, why you've enjoyed playing them. That takes the place of the discussion. So I'm gonna start with my favorite three exercises. I tend to pick exercise three, which is if you've used my method book, monkey sees, monkey does. Preparing the hands, playing two notes together cleanly. So I always tell my students, stare at your thumbs. So we go, off we go. This is harp step one, exercise three, both of the hands prepared on C and E. Left hand goes first and right hand copies it. We have a little easy bit now with A, B, C. Left goes first, right hand copies it. B and G. C and E, and C and E with a C. So monkey sees, monkey does. The next exercise that I really like is exercise four. Left goes first again, and we're going to up our scales. And then we come back the other way. And finish with two C's. And then exercise five, playing two notes together in minims. Now when I'm teaching this, I always encourage my students, stare at your thumbs. And when you're practicing, say out loud, Minim, minim. And then back down. Then we're on to our three pieces. The choices are Frere Jacquard, Wooden Shoe Dance, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Good King Wenceslas, our choice for Christmas, and Ode to Joy. Today, I'm going to pick Wooden Shoe Dance because this is consolidating your placing. So you're learning to place the fingers and flick and fold into the palm of your hands. So we're going after three, one, two, three. Really make sure all the time that you're bringing your fingers right to the magic line in the palm of your hand and squashing the spiders with your thumb. I also like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And this is really good for starting to have different notes in the left and right hand. Again, we're just using the second finger. We're looking for a nice technique. And my other choice would be Good King Wenceslas, especially for the younger students, because they do need something to play at Christmas time in school. And again, very straightforward, lots of repeated patterns and just a drone bass.
And there, you've completed your step one exam. You'll then have a short discussion with the examiner and he might say, which piece did you enjoy playing today? And you can tell him, my favourite was Good King Wenceslas. He might then ask you, what does four over four mean? Or he might say, what does Allegro mean? Again, everything that you need is in the ISOM pack, which is available online, the International School of Musicians pack. The question, all the answers that they may potentially ask for are on the last page in your glossary. So you can learn everything as you're going along. You can tie in your theory. Very, very useful. So I hope you found this little video useful. And I hope to see you watching one of my future videos on the graded exams.